Hello guys, I am Shahzad from Shakezi.com and uh, welcome in KNM series. Uh, we have discussed the different type of algorithms or the techniques by using the KNM series. So we are not going to teach you here the whole data science course, how the neural networks work or something like that. We are just using the tool and creating the models. So today we are going to discuss about the probabilistic neural network. So probabilistic neural network is a feed forward neural network which is widely used in classifications and also the pattern recognitions problem. So this series is sponsored by Digital Sort. So they are providing the digital services from the web development to UI, UX, branding and something like that. Okay, now we have created uh, the decisions tree model in our previous lectures and we also have discussed about the multilayer perceptron which is a neural network now i'm saying i'm saying click new i'm creating the new workflow so now i'm saying pnn sorry pnn probabilistic neural network so now finish i definitely read the data for, by using the reader i'm saying reader so i have the data in the csv format so that's why i have to use the csv reader if you have the data set in your file or arf format or tables so you you can select the different nodes according to your need so now i'm saying configure select your data I have the data sets available in my these folders and also I'm seeing I have the results and supervised learning and this data now I don't have the row header so that's why I'm unchecking this one if you have just click on the check button apply okay now I'm saying f7 so right click click on the view data so I have the continuous data so as you can see one two three four five six so six columns has the continuous data i have the discrete data here so this is the targeted columns or the class column i also have the data here so don't worry about it now i actually need the partitioning node partitioning So this is a partitioning node to split your data into two form for training and the testing. So now you need two nodes. We're working on the PNN. So it's a neural network. As you can see, it's a learner and it's a predictor. So just now why you are doing this because you have the 80 sorry right click configure uh, you have to configure the partitioning first so right click configure I'm saying relative and I'm saying 80 person we are using the same pattern I'm saying 80 person for the training and 20 percent for the testing you can also click on the stratified sampling totally depend upon you linear sampling take from the top uh, okay i'm saying draw draw randomly apply okay now execute this one okay now right click configurations so target column is the is not the row id the target column is the cluster target column is the color cluster so that's why we are selecting the targeted columns and now you have few options here in corp best guesses mean or min max zero so i'm saying in corp okay now advance shrink after comment so this is the basic setting i'm saying apply okay so now you have to click this here assign your training model to your testing model so now right click configure so as you can see it's a prediction cluster by by default is if you want to change this one just click on this. i'm saying okay fine everything is working fine now right click execute the last node 
when you execute the last node it will automatically execute the previous node so i am executing the last node so now right click learn learner stats or pnn rules so these are the pnn rules and now right click pnn model so this is the these are the rules and these are the models now you have the scorer to view your accuracy so i'm saying scorer so it's a scorer now just give this note to this right click configurations so this is the cluster and the prediction column is the prediction cluster so i'm saying apply okay so right click execute this bad boy okay now right click confusion matrix so you can see it's giving you the 95 percent accuracy the correct correct classification is the 19 the wrong classification is the one so your error is five percent and your accuracy is the 95 percent so this is the same data we have used in our multi-layer perceptron but when we use the same data in multi-layer perceptron as you can see it's giving you the 35 percent accuracy with the same data we are receiving or gaining the 95 percent accuracy for the same data so that means uh, probabilistic neural network is better performing the multi-layer perceptron so it's totally depend upon the data sets which data sets you are using and we have already used the same data in the decision tree and the decision tree is also giving us the 95 percent accuracy so in this way you can create the probabilistic neural network by using the canine so i hope you are enjoying this series if you think we are doing good feel free to share our courses and also the videos and don't forget to click on the subscribe button so thank you for watching